This video clip goes over lesson practice number one from set one from this section of the notes. And the instructions read, evaluate each expression with and without the parentheses. Compare the results. And this lesson is going to show you the difference between if I have an expression and I'm squaring it and the negative is out in front of the expression that is being squared versus if I have parentheses around the expression and the negative. Two different results occur. So let me show you what I mean. So we're just going to type these, both these expressions into our calculator and compare the results. We have negative 5 squared and notice no parentheses there. I hit enter and the result is negative 25. And then we have negative 5 parentheses squared. So let's put parentheses up there, put negative 5 in there hit enter and we come out with positive 25. Now what's occurring here as I write down our answers we had negative 25 for this one and positive 25 for this one. Let me erase that and just put 25 down. And let me pull the calculator back up. So what's happening with this is that when the calculator gets an expression like the first one, it is just squaring the 5. It's leaving the negative out in the front untouched. So 5 squared is 25, and the negative just goes along for the ride and goes out in front of it. Now in this one, when the negative is included inside the parentheses, the negative is being squared. So we have a negative times a negative comes out to be positive and the 5 times 5 is 25 so that's why this one comes out to be positive 25. Now this is a common misunderstanding of a lot of students of mine when entering in expressions uh, that we see on this page here. When students see expressions like this negative 9 squared they'll forget to include the parentheses they'll come out with a negative number and it will throw their problem off. So hopefully after the end of this lesson, you'll understand and hopefully not make the mistake of mixing these two up.